What are three key points every filmmaker should know about getting a movie made? I would say point number one, and this is, remember, I'm talking about a filmmaker who has the intention to make money, okay, to sell their film. Because if their intention is just to create a movie that is artistic that they want to finish and put on their shelf and enjoy, that's not what I'm talking about. So if we're talking about somebody who has makes a movie with the intention of making a profit on it, selling it, and hopefully making a profit, the first thing they should do, they have to, they have to think about who, who they're going to sell it to, who the audience is, who they're making the movie for. That's number one. Number two is, so number one is identifying the audience. Number two is, how are they going to market to that audience? So now they know what audience they want to get to, but how are they going to get there? How are they going to, what publicity campaign, what social media campaign, whatever, are they going to use to get to that audience? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, you asked me about, you know, about making a movie and I'm talking about selling a movie. I honestly believe that if you want to make money with your movie, as I would say for any business or any product, not just a movie, you got to be thinking about your audience and how to market them before you even make your movie. And then number three would be how to deploy your funds as effectively as possible so that you're getting, as we talked about before, the most of your money on screen. So you're making the best product possible. Don't waste your time and make a crappy product. You'll regret it and it won't sell. So make, what you, make something that you're going to be proud of that you feel like you're going to you know, have a shot to sell. But before you do that, make sure you know who you're making it for and that you have it and you have an avenue to get to them, whether it be through a distributor or through your own means or through your own you know, friends or whatever marketing you're going to do. Now, I tell people this. This is, this is where indie filmmakers really, really struggle with what I'm about to say. And this is what I say to them. I say, when you're budgeting for a movie, make sure that if you want to be successful... If your movie is going to spend, if you're going to spend $500,000 on making your movie, spend at least, at least $300,000 on marketing it. Like you have to have like 60, somewhere between 60 and 100% of your production budget, you also have to have for a marketing budget. And they say, that's crazy. How are we going to do that? We can hardly raise enough money to make the movie. How are we going to raise money to market the movie? And I say, if you want, to have a shot. Like if you want to compare yourself to Hollywood movies and studio movies, look at what they do. I mean, everything, every single movie they put out has a gigantic marketing budget. In some cases, it's, you know, the, the production budget and the marketing budget are the same, even on a $50 million movie. The marketing budget might be more, actually. I mean, that's what makes it successful. Because Hollywood movies understand, I mean, studios understand that it's one thing to make a great movie, but it's it's nothing unless you can get it in front of an audience and you have to advertise it to them. Indie filmmakers don't necessarily do that. So remember, the two things that I led with were know who your audience is and, and make sure you have you know, <laughs> the wherewithal to get to them, which is usually involves resources. So make sure that when you're budgeting, you tuck a big chunk of money aside for marketing. Now it's funny, I've listened to a lot of your webcasts here and a lot of filmmakers talk about it and they talk about make sure you have enough money. I mean, it's most people say make sure you have enough money for post-production. I mean, I listen to those and I say, are you kidding me? Like post-production is part of making the movie. Like you actually went and shot a film and didn't think about post-production? Like that's crazy. Then, then the, to me it's crazy. Like I would never do that. I would never go into production without having enough money to finish the movie because what's the point of that? Secondly, some people who are you know, a little further along say make sure you have enough for delivery because it's expensive to deliver. You have to, you know, there's elements you have to do to, to deliver. I also say of course you have to deliver. I mean that's all part of, like that's part of the production budget. But how many indie filmmakers ever say make sure you have enough to market? And it's painful to say that. It's actually painful because if you have an extra quarter of a million dollars and you're sitting and you know it's tucked away there for marketing, you're inclined to spend it on the movie. I'll make a way better movie. I'll spend, if I have a quarter of a million dollars more, think of how I could spend it. Think of how good the movie could be. But then you got nothing left to market it with. So no matter how good a movie you made, you, yeah, you can't market it. Now, 
here's what you'll ask me and here's what everybody says. But that's the distributor's job to market it. It's not my job to market it, it's the distributor. So I'm gonna get a distributor and they're gonna spend the quarter of a million dollars to market it. That's what they do. And I say, maybe. That means, first of all, you gotta get lucky and get a distributor. Secondly, there aren't too many distributors these days who are gonna spend a quarter million dollars marketing an indie movie. So you better, like if you really, really want to get behind your movie and, and you really believe in it and you want to have a shot at getting it successful, tuck that money aside, raise extra money, put it in a, and, and tell your investors, they'll actually respect that. They will respect the fact that you're actually thinking about marketing as much as you're thinking about production. Tuck it aside and if you do get a distributor, if you do get lucky and get a good distributor, have them deploy those resources on your behalf so that they have you know, a, a war chest to help get the movie out. It's only gonna to be to your benefit. I mean, there are some tricks on how to make that happen so they don't beat you and take fees on your own money and take costs and all that kind of stuff. We'll have to talk about that at some point. Um, so like, don't just throw it in their laps because they'll, they'll spend it and you won't get any return on it. But if, and, and the other thing is if you don't get a distributor, you may have to self-distribute. And if you're gonna self-distribute, you need to have some resources to do that with. It's, it's not good enough to throw out, you know, just a crappy social media campaign these days. It's too crowded out there. Nobody's gonna see it. You have to spend some money. Well, what about cream rises to the top? So if I get it on one of these streaming services, it's, it, it, I don't need to. It's gonna, it's gonna, don't worry, it'll be suggested. Yeah, that's the typical thing. If, if I get it on a streaming service, do you know what the odds of getting it on a streaming service are? That would be like if I, or, or people say, if I get it into Sundance, then you know, you know, a big company will see it and I will, let's talk about Sundance, that's okay. That's like the streaming company, all right? It's the same type of deal, right? Getting a movie into, an indie movie into Sundance now is almost impossible. I mean, it, it, the acceptance rate is so low. It's like getting accepted to UCLA for college students, like 114,000 applications and 3,000 spots. It's extremely, extremely low, all right? So the chances of you getting accepted into Sundance with your indie film are very, very low. But let's say you're one of the lucky ones and you actually do get it in, all right? That's not enough, because the next thing you have to do is you have to get a screening time that like it's, it's about getting the screening where buyers will actually come. So I'm using Sundance because it's one of the major festivals and we know that there are lots of acquisition executives and you know and movie buyers who could make a difference, who could make your movie, but it has to be seen. You have to spend a fortune. You have to hire a publicist. First of all, you have to hopefully get a good screening time. If it's nine in the morning and there's parties the night before, nobody's coming to your screening. So you have to get an afternoon or, I mean, that's hard to do, right? You gotta get lucky with that. Now you get that, so now you've gotten lucky twice. You have to hire a, a publicity team and a, you know, and a promotion team. You can't just assume people are gonna come. Somebody's gotta be talking it up. That costs a lot of money to hire those people, especially at Sundance where it's super competitive and where it's hard to get the attention of the buyers because they only wanna see the big movies. So that's, when I say a lot of money, that could be anywhere from five to $10,000 minimum minimum, all right? Not to mention you have to be at Sundance and spend your money to be there and all that kind of stuff. So now you get the buyers there. Likely, your publicity person will say you have to have a party because afterwards you have to entertain them and they have to schmooze with you and blah, 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 blah. There's another 10 to 20 grand maybe down the toilet. But this is what you're competing with. This is what studios do. So it's not like, oh, everybody says, well, I'll get into Sundance and I'll be set, you know? And then you gotta hope that somebody's in a good mood and that they liked your champagne and it was expensive enough that they wanna make you an offer. So there's a lot that goes into it. Same with the streaming service. What, you think you pick up the phone and call Netflix and say, oh, I just made a great film. Oh, that's great, send it over, you know? It doesn't work that way. You could wait years and years and years before anybody even sees it. So, or you can get lucky, but you can't, I don't depend on luck. 